Welcome to Beginner's Guide to HTML. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain the basics of HTML. If you are starting out as a web developer and learning how to build web pages, then this video is going to be really helpful. Each video will consist of two parts. In the first part, I'm going to explain the theory. And in the second part, we are going to use those theory uh, in practical scenarios. So let's begin. First, let's, let me give you an introduction to HTML. So what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So this is the language. And this language helps to create, a, create web pages. Without HTML, you cannot have any kind of web pages. HTML describes the structure of a web page. So this is basically the boilerplate or the skeleton of a web page. HTML consists of a series of elements. What are the elements? We're going to learn them in the future videos. HTML elements tell the browser how to display the content. So if you see a heading, it tells the browser, okay, this one is a heading, this one is an image, this one is a video player, something like that, okay? It tells the browser how to interpret things. So let's have a look at the code. So this is a sample HTML document. Just have a look. I'm going to explain it in, uh, in with an example. So doc type HTML head title head ends here. So if you see that the less than sign and then a slash, that means it is going to end. Then we have the body, body starts here, body ends here, HTML starts here, HTML ends here, and between body, we have something, some tags or elements, H1, P. So we are going to learn about them right now with an example. Now I have my VS Studio and um, my browser open. I'm going to create a file and I'm going to name it index.html and press enter. Now we have created our HTML file and I'm going to press shift one. When I do that, there is exclamation mark. If I click enter, it is going to give me a HTML document. Now, if I click on go live, it is going to open up the HTML page in my web browser. Now let me explain everything. Doc type HTML. This declaration defines the document type and version of HTML being used. In this case, this is HTML5. Then we have HTML, then we have an attribute, and then it says EN. This element represents the root of an HTML document and it specifies the language of the content. In this case, it is English. If you use other languages, it will be, it will be changed to that language. Then we have head. This element contains meta information about the HTML document, such as title and then character set, style sheet, scripts, and other metadata. Now, what is metadata? Meta refers to the meta element so these elements which is used to provide metadata about the html document metadata is data about data it provides information about the document rather than the content common use of the meta element includes the character encoding viewport setting authorship and etc metadata plays a crucial role in improving accessibility search engine optimization and user experience on the web and then we have our title but before going to that let me explain what the meta utf these things mean this meta tag specifies the character encoding for the document this ensures that the browser correctly interprets special characters and symbols such as utf8 encoding and meta, this meta says viewport content with device width and initial scale zero. So this means that viewport setting 
ensures the proper rendering and scaling on different devices such as as mobile device or tablet then we have title this gives the title of our web page now here it says document if i change it to html introduction see it here it changed to html introduction and then we have our body here this element contains the main content of the html document it includes text images links and other elements visible to the user when it renders on a web browser so in this code snippet if i use h1 and say this this is html introduction see you can see it has rendered whatever we wrote here in our web page if i keep p and say this is a paragraph it will render this to our web page as well now this is the introduction of our html